This is a video specifically for those who already been in the self-improvement journey that can't get result or for those who are considering to start this kind of journey. I started this journey back in February the 12th, 2022. I went on full all this self-improvement. I started adding meditation, gratitude journal, waking up early, cleaning my bed, making up my bed, and start doing no fab. Back then, in around 2021, I think in September, I only do gym. I only apply gym as my only self-improvement. Other than that, I still keep on jerking off. So I went full on hard self-improvement mode. And by now, till now, April the 9th, 2023, or you may be watching right now at this moment because after I edit for around an hour. The biggest takeaway, I won't waste your time. The biggest takeaway that I have learned from this one year of suffering and just kept on consistently working hard and provide you the biggest lesson in my life is that self-improvement gives you hope. Like hope's mentality, this kind of spiritual thing is kind of wishy-washy, but you don't understand how important like hope is. Why men suicide, why men suddenly get motivated, why men can suddenly imagine what they were fighting for, it's all because of hope. Everything you do right now, you wish for a result. Can you imagine the end goal of your effort? That is hope. It's because of hope, that's why you keep on working hard until now. You don't give up. And what happened to those men who gave up, who don't have hope? Naturally, they die. Naturally, they cannot withstand the pressure in the, this society world. Not only self-improvement will give you hope, it gives you confidence because you actually see yourself improving. Not only your looks, not only your academic grades, not only your discipline, how getting girls, your fashion sense, your mental health, everything you are seeing, clear visible proof. That's why you in yourself, your inner self are feeling happy. Your subconscious mind are telling you that you are actually putting the effort so you should be feeling happy, you should be feeling grateful for the experience. It gives you hope that, wow, you can actually make experience. You can actually make a change for yourself. Because I'll be honest, I'm not good at any, anything. Although I keep on telling you that I'm playing piano, I'm making these videos, I have to take care of my studies, I have to play volleyball. But in fact, everything that I'm doing right now, not a single thing that I'm super good at. I'll be very honest with you. Not a single thing I'm expert or I master the skill of. I can say everything is very average. I'm getting very average grade. I'm doing very average work for my piano, for my volleyball recently. I can't do so well like my brother or like my teammate does. Like those others who only focus on one single goal. So I'm thinking that I'm starting to sacrifice something just to hope to improve that one single aspect, to master the one single skills. At some point, I have to decide which one. So imagine that I was me two years ago, if I haven't picked up some improvement, if I still continue doing average work in every aspect of my life, how depressed am I feel? Everyone is more talented than me. Everyone is more taller than me. Everyone came out envious those kind of people who are tall and have broad shoulders. They're all genetically given sometimes. They don't even go to the gym, but they have like broad shoulders. Like they, they even wear the uniform, you can see it. Am I envy? Of course. But if once, but the more I go to the gym, the more I build it myself. Yes, maybe I'm not genetically given, but who cares? I'm still working myself. I'm still happy for my progress. I feel grateful that I'm having the progress compared to those people who are already genetically given. Because those who are already given, they won't be appreciate these things in life. It's natural. You won't be grateful for the things that you already have when you are born given. And self-improvement giving you hope is the most wonderful thing that I can ever describe for you. It's not materialistic thing. It's not money, it's not fame, it's not woman at all. But it gives you a feel to actually for you to achieve those kind of things that you wanted. And being in this kind of one year journey, I can't express how grateful I am. From the gym, from me just picking up every single aspect, every single habit that I have. I wish the best for you. I wish you can hop on on this journey and see for yourself 
how much improvement you can make. It doesn't matter you have to follow my activities, all the things that I do. Just pick out the field that you wanted to do, that you are passionate about. And just focus that it will actually help you in the future life. If you have to watch the video and just stay, always remember we're pursuing God all the time. Stand up for some news.